All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here. So let's actually dive into some alteration review for these two new units over here. We got the Escalabias over here, as well as the second form um, high new HWS over here. So keep this in mind. So this is going to be a both melee and shot build base, melee and shot units over here. So if you guys are on a limited uh, budget of hardships, I would have to say focus on something that you want to work on right now. Uh, also keep this in mind they are both S attributes, so uh, if you guys need some uh, speed attribute part. Just just want to see if you guys need any right now, and you know I, I guess that is probably the best way to go around it over here. And definitely you can just not summon at all. I think that's probably going to be the best method because like they're not. I don't know, like, I, I, I wouldn't say High New is like a top tier unit by, by any chance uh, in, in terms of the parts. I think what it's trying to do is not that sufficient enough. I don't know. I feel like having heavy armor is not really like the best um, shooting base work that you, you can be looking at. Let me see what does heavy armor do. So, shot attack and melee defense and, and shot defense. So it's actually good, right? Uh, it's definitely a really good you know, um, tag to be using, I, but I feel like that we don't have that many options, right? If you look at solely, I don't know. We can do this. Oh, it didn't bug. What? Oh, oh my gosh, it didn't bug on me. Whoa, that was okay. Whew. Let me see. Let me take a look how many heavy armor parts do we have in game. We have a bunch, actually. We actually do have a bunch, so. Uh, but it is still pretty limited. Uh, even the heavy armor double zeta is not that good. Just look, look at this. Look at look at how many poetry or, or ex skill we're looking at. So that's not right out of the bat, not that good already. And then you look at Serbi over here. Is like Serbi is a good option, right? But long range is like not really like the most good work that you can be looking at by any means. This one's a big project, so this one. You, this one, there's no way to get it right now. And then last one, at least, we have um, Nightingale. Nightingale is more of like a mix, so not good at all. So that's why I would have to say like heavy armor is not even that good, you know? Uh, but it, it is a good, it is an option right there. But that's why I will have to say High New is definitely not gonna be on top of my list. Just, just saying that right now, uh, for that banner specifically, uh, there is one definitely for both banner, there's one part you wanna be getting it for both uh, from both sides definitely gonna be those 40 percent trait uh but if you guys have the hot scramble already um i will have to say it's definitely a hot skip the so the scramble the hot scramble arm and then the high new arm definitely both have 40 percent trait but if you guys initially have let's say the hot scramble arm i will have to say uh you don't really need it the only difference is only you're gonna get 300 percent uh, 300 more point stats so uh, but if you actually apply that to, into actual game, it's, I will have to say it's roughly going to be more than 300 uh, because you have to take into consideration all those word tags that is applied afterwards. So um, there's a lot of map going on in that, but uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be more than 300. So uh, you can say it's good, but I, I'm not really going to chase that that specific stat, right? So that's that. But let's, let's do actually jump in. Let's, let's see what we can be looking at. I'm not gonna actually click on that. I'm, I'm gonna click on this way. I think someone told me this is probably the safest way to be looking at, so that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, so right at the bat, we have a head part. So for a shooting base build unit, I definitely have to say that a head definitely needs to have a part trait. Um, that is probably the best way to go around this. So this one having an EX skill over here, um, it's not good. So right at the bat, I would say this is not really that good, you know? Uh, maybe if you take a look, I don't think there's any big skill that you can sub this on to get a 30%. I don't, I mean, I think there is, but uh, but it's not that good of a part trait. You can definitely do, I don't know, like, you can definitely do, let me see, um, big skill, head part, and then um, maybe this one, or where is this, right here? Wing Gundam, right? Uh, Wing Gundam does not have the best part trait, so even if you, even if you do sub slot, um, you're not really gonna get that much benefit from this, so that's why I will have to say that the head is definitely the worst part to be looking at of the whole set right here. But I guess the one thing you want to be looking at is look at that growth ratio. That growth ratio is only at one, so if you want to max out the uh, the high new head over here, you will only need eight parts instead of twelve or ten parts. So uh, this is the luxury of having like a EX skill Vulcan right here. So. 
Uh, War type wise, um, high firepower and then heavy armor. So high firepower is definitely good, but having um, heavy armor may may not be that good. Depending, I you know what? Like when I do look at these right here, I rather go for something that's a little bit easy to build around. Maybe going for that really simple setup. Um, let's say Ace exclusive, heavy, um, high high firepower, even get them type. Um, those are definitely going to be your three easiest to build around. Uh, you definitely have long range and mid range that you can work around towards too because they actually give you um, the highest, what is it, the war tag gear. They actually give you the highest. But um, but after doing like more research, like after getting my own war tag gear, right, um, of that commander, I don't really get that many stat increase. So I'm just like, so I went through all the process, right? All those grinding, all those capital grinding, um, all those like upgrading 35 parts. I'm barely getting anything out of that. So I'm just like, why even bother doing that, you know? So I'm just like, maybe just going with a generic setup, you know, commander, ace exclusive, high firepower, a Gundam type. Just, just trying to make our life more, more easier, right? Because like, heavy armor is definitely not really that, don't really have that many options. So why would I go for something right now that does not have that many good options, right? So I think that's probably my thought process of going this right now. So now head part is definitely a no for me. Just saying that right there. So chess, um, chess is gonna be another EX good base over here. And let's see what the chess is looking at so far. The chess definitely does have some pretty, pretty decent, decently stat. It's gonna be coming at a rank number three so far. But again, that, then again, what is the word tag over here? High firepower and ASICs arm and heavy armor over here. So, uh, but you do see some incredibly high defense right there. So you can definitely take advantage of that. Um, if any of you guys do care about, let's say, um, melee defense arena or even shot defense arena this one this part right here would definitely perform really well that's for sure that is definitely really good so this one is gonna be a chest missile launcher over here so this is something we have seen previously already we have a high new a high new hws version already so it's literally going to be the exact same thing and this one is going to be the literally the exact same thing as we would have seen from the build project new gundam um hws ready so it's not going to be anything too like oh Un unheard of before um do i like this ex skill i would have to say it's really conditional um i would say there's a good there's a pros and cons to this ex skill uh, for one you are it is like you are able to sh i don't know how how would i run a when to phrase it or let's actually start off the con uh if your enemy is like right in front of you right let's say like i don't know like right up in front of you where you can you can kind of do like a melee attack in front of them um, these, this EX right here is not going to be good because what this EX gear actually does is it's more like it's going to shoot like it's going to make like a U shape like shoot upward and then and then homing to whatever whatever enemies in front of you so it's not going to give you that really close range so that's why this not this EX gear is not that good in that perspective um, but I will have to say that having like that curving upward first definitely does make a difference um, if you ever want to go go through any obstacle so that's probably a pros right there but con is definitely not being able to hit like enemy directly in front of you so that is probably not that good you you get hit right out the bat if you if you are going to be using this ex right here like if you have any um let's say infighter charging at you you're you're done <laughs> so i mean it's definitely not definitely good but i don't think it's worth that investment you know just for all trading it for example I mean, I feel like B plus power is definitely good enough already, but uh, I feel like if you want to be alternating this, you definitely want to take advantage of the high stat right here you're looking at. And that again, if you are going to be using this one, definitely want to sub slot something that has a good part rate, and you'll be good. And then probably replace heavy armor with like ace exclusive or maybe commander if possible. I think you should be pretty much set at that point. So moving on to the R. Okay, click on this first. So far, it's so far so good. Nothing's happening so far. Um, in terms of the arm, right? In terms of the arm, currently it is one of the best, um, you know, um, shooting base arm you be looking at so far. Um, stat wise, is roughly about 300 more than the um, hot scramble, which is it, it, it means something right there, right? Uh, because we actually applied all the stats and like put this, like actually build this part with like. Build a build with this part right here, you will definitely see a significantly higher stats wise uh, because how the game actually calculate like, you know, like how they actually apply all these right here, how they actually apply all four of the gears, uh, it will make a big difference. But uh, if you guys already have the high, uh, the, uh, the hot scramble arm, 
I feel like summoning sp specifically for this 40% trait is not worth the bug for that. So, um, so it, it's definitely a good option if you guys never had had the hot scramble. Uh, this one is definitely a decent part to I would say go for. But do keep in mind that later on in the future we'll definitely have a lot more 40% trait. And then probably going for this one specific part is not really that um, good idea anyways. Because you can probably pick these up maybe a few months later with I don't know like my, maybe a, a exclusive pick ticket. So I, I guess at that point it's a lot more um, easier to just kind of roll this part right now. Uh, definitely I like the part of the word tag a lot more better. Having Ace exclusive and high firepower definitely makes a build a lot more easy to go around. So I, I definitely like the word tag right here. So the trait is going to be as follow when you're running a high firepower. So 40% EXQ boosting as well as a 40% um, shooting power boosting. But you are going to take 20% more uh, melee attack right there. So that is going to be something you want to keep in mind right there as well. So if you are going to be running this on a shooting base unit, uh, presumably, um, you would have um, drastically lower melee defense. So you would definitely see a lot more damage taken. So that is something you guys will have to worry about if you guys are ever in... Uh, facing let's say any infighters when they're rushing towards you you would definitely see um, some damage difference right there but this one is definitely good but you can argue that this one is can be bad as well because you are locked into only using high fire power um, you can definitely say that people do tend to build around getting the type as well so uh, that may be a problem you know you guys would face if you guys were doing that type of build having gunner type instead of high fire power but nonetheless having a 40 percent trade arm this one is definitely the one you, you want to be looking at if you guys do not have the hot scramble already so not bad so this one is definitely a part i will have to recommend all trading if you guys do have this already um moving on to the leg right here so we do have another ex skill uh, which is one we have seen already so this one is a no for me as well but if you guys purely care about you know the overall stat, this one is what is this one looking at? Oh, this one is actually pretty low on the board. For like a new part, like a freshly new part, this one is pretty low on the on the on the board actually. Uh, something to really keep in mind for all these parts over here. You guys will see that there's actually no, um, let's say beam resistance. So like why? Like why is there no beam resistance for any of these parts? Like hmm, interesting. So. Uh, you guys will definitely take a lot more damage if you guys are looking at maybe um, your enemy is doing a lot of like beam EX2 that like EX2 so uh, probably not that good right uh, but in terms of the overall stat it's a pretty evenly distributed so you have I think this is the only part that I was I would comfortably say that um, you can use it for both build um, because you do have you know high fire power so you can definitely bridge it onto let's say a melee build if you wanted to um, like you, if you look at the stat for melee, it's actually pretty decent. 4170, uh, 4147, as well as say 4902 for your defensive value right there. It's actually not bad. So if you want to be using this on a melee build, um, this one is definitely going to be a good option as well. Um, but the only thing you want to do for your sub slot is actually get a get a portrait. For one, you want to get a portrait, and then for one, you want to replace this with probably I don't know some melee war type, but. Um, other than that, what I want, to, what I recommend alternating this one over here, uh, if you guys are limited on some alteration too, probably not, right? Um, this one having like an EX skill here is probably not the best option uh, because you guys will definitely have to work harder to get that good sub slide with part trait. So definitely a not the best option we could be looking at. So yeah, that's just probably me. If you guys do want this EX skill, definitely you can, you can alternate it. I will have to say you would need to alternate it in order to get that that power i don't have it so i can't really show you i'm pretty sure it's like a deep power before alteration so you would definitely have to alterate it to get that damage going on right there so i didn't actually summon on this one that much actually <laughs> i only got two parts like when i'm doing like the what is it i got two parts when i was doing like the step up banner and then i got the backpack which we'll talk about in a bit as well as two beam rifle which is like why why do we get two beam rifle um, in terms of the backpack, that like the backpack is clearly one of the highest, you know, shot attack stat in the game. And then this one being E skill, you definitely want to have a portrait and at your back slot, anyways. Um, if you want to compare this one directly to, let's say, two weeks ago where we had the big scale Freedom Freedom Gundam, I will have to say I will definitely run the Freedom over this one because for one, the Freedom is actually a big scale, so you would get a non-conditional 20% stat uh, bonus anyway. So this one is gonna, that one is gonna be. A, far better than this one definitely 
So I will have to say, like moving forward, if you guys have, let's say, the Freedom Backpack is a no-brainer, right? Definitely put, definitely run Freedom Backpack over any anything else because um, it actually offers you a nine condition of twenty percent. So that's why it's going to be a lot more better. But we strictly look at this part right here. Uh, this one is actually not bad. Uh, the the stat on this one is pretty good. Like that, um, both of defense is actually decent enough. I will have to say. Um, melee is actually good as well, so you can you can be looking at, like you can be using this part in let's say melee defense arena, like for that really really expensive arena. like I, I call it, I, I call it arena expensive because me personally I go ham into them every week, and just having this part in your hand, you can definitely make something work with this one over here. Um, but uh, I, I I definitely see that we have a lot more better option out there already. So this part. Because this one is going to be a custom EX skill, so I'll leave this option to you guys. If you guys still want this EX skill, you will definitely want to alternate it to get the extra damage going on. Because if you don't alternate it, you're only going to be stuck at A power. Alternating it will give it to S power, so this is something you guys would definitely have to take into consideration. Um, this one is definitely definitely packing a lot of stuff right here. Packing some speed, packing some um, you know shot attack up to your squad by 29%. Because you you having a lot of effects over here, that's why they're not giving you that premium, what forty nine percent usually. Usually, if there's like only one effects down here, they they will bump it up to like forty nine percent. But uh, this time around, we do also have some melee defense, you know, by nineteen. It's not bad, right? A little bit helps, you know, overall. You also do get a little beam resistant or physical resistant up by twenty nine percent. So this one is a pretty um, impactful, if you will, because if you if your build personally have let's say buff effect skill, uh, you can definitely wage it in a lot more than this right here. What is that at base? So the base is <laughs> looking pretty sad. 20 to speed, 20 to shot, and then 10 and 20. So, but like I said again, if you do have buff effect skill, this will definitely bump up to whatever number you're looking at. My shot build personally are is running at least 45%. So you will see instead of a 20, I will be looking at an 85. So uh, this one instead of 10, it will be looking at what 55. So that's why if you do have buff effect skill, this would definitely be a really good option right there for you guys. So uh, if you guys want to alternate it, definitely alternate it for you know using it as an EX skill powerhouse, um, using it for the effects that it's giving you, or just using it for the stat. This one is not bad. So this one I would give a good recommendation of like you know leaning towards alternating it. So, so far, maybe the arm and then the backpack, and then moving on to, let's say, the beam rifle. I think beam rifle is looking, I don't, I don't think I like any of the beam rifle we're looking at. So, in terms of the stat, I would say in terms of all ranged weapon currently, uh, this is coming in at rank number two, so it's not bad. Uh, War chair wise, um, high firepower, and then high, heavy armor over here, so. Ugh, okay, okay. Um, in terms of the portrait over here, this portrait I will have to say is a, it's two parts, right? Um, you know, two portrait, but this is actually a two stage war tag you can be kind of play around with over here. So first portrait is this after 20 seconds has passed, you know, uh, reduce cooldown by 50% one. So that's that part, right? Second one is when you sh uh, shoot down one enemy, cooldown reduced by 50%. So this one is a pretty sneaky option. Where you can continuously use your, let's say, custom EX skill, for example, you know, let's, let's say that, right? Um, so this one is rounding up to a hundred percent. So this one is, like, you can say it's good, only if you use it right. So, me meaning like using it right. If you shoot down one enemy first, you wanna, you wanna trigger this one first. You wanna trigger this one first. Um, I, let me see. You can definitely ah, uh, let me see. I don't know. No, no, no. Let me see. You can definitely do it either way. So you can elapse. So you want to use your EX skill. You know what? No, we actually this one goes first because you want to use the EX skill first. So this will definitely triggers right because you will um, kill one enemy first and then this part triggers. And then after that, after 20 seconds have elapsed, you get that 100% like fully reduction, right? So this one can be a sneaking sticky get option if you want to like fully recover like if you don't let's say you let's say you don't have one of those like cooldown reduction build like those 100 percent cooldown reduction build uh this one is definitely a good one timer use and then after that this overall partially just go to waste uh but this one is definitely a a 
good secondary option if you, if you guys don't have that 100% cooldown build. But I'm not really going to be recommending that because like after 20 seconds or after you kill one enemy, you can't really use it. So um, that's why I'm not really going to be recommending it. It's definitely good. You know, it's definitely good. But uh, this one over here, you can't really use it unless say limited time multi-mission boss like let's say the refresia we have this week around because there's, that's the only enemy so um, literally half the portrait is, is unusable so uh, this one is definitely going to be a hot skip for me just just a no right out of the bat so yeah it's too, too bad uh, what about this one I think this one is not that good either I don't know let's see uh, this one is going to have the same that oh this one is okay I would ooh, this one is actually not bad I'm not gonna lie this one is a lot more better um shooting power boost by 30 percent and then long shooter job EXQ boost by 35 percent um the only bad part I can just kind of say right now is definitely this right here lock this locking this one specifically to a job lesson so um but then again if you guys do have the arch get them twin uh, the double beam rifle that would that, that one is definitely a lot more better Packing a 40% trade, and that one I believe currently does have the highest stats in game. So uh, definitely run that one over in this one if you guys do have that option. But uh, then again, being a twin rifle is definitely harder to do sub slot because I don't think there's any viable way to let's say do double like a, a, a good free to play sub slot. So maybe going with like a re regular beam rifle like these ones over here will be a lot more better option. This one is not bad if, if you guys do have this one for example. Uh, it is definitely good and then let's say all right let's say you guys did not put a second copy so you cannot really do a perfect self slot for example um there's tons of good um let's say big skill option that had ace exclusive in my already so you can you guys can definitely go over that route if you guys did not put a second copy of this so uh this one is definitely not bad i put what it is all right the last part we need to go with right now is only going to be the shoe so the shield is um the shield is definitely not bad uh it's packing a lot of like wait a minute whoa look at that melee defense i i just realized that six thousand as well okay i'm so definitely like this one is definitely gonna be good for the melee defense arena if you guys want to use this like if you want to build a melee defense suit for uh, specifically using it in a shot build unit this one is definitely good uh, this one is definitely a solid option right there. Um, in terms of the portrait wise over here. Ooh. Okay. So this one is actually, like, this is probably a good option as well. Uh, but the unfortunate part is they only lock into this, to this back part. So that is like a <sighs> unfortunate, you know. But it's, it's good. Um, EXQ power boosting by 30%. And then this one. Buff EX skill time, right? This keeps this in mind. This is time, not buff effect skill up. So this one does allow you to like whatever whatever your buff effect skill is on a few, uh, that will get a duration up by 30%. So this one is actually good, I will have to say, because like uh, most of the time, by the time you execute, let's say, right, let's say your setup is uh, three casting EX skill, and then you cons uh, consistently go to one, two, three. Uh, by the time you get to your third casting EX skill, like all your buffs that you have accumulated from the first EX skill would have expired already. So having like having this option right here of like a 30 like increasing that by 30% is actually not bad. Uh, because that allow you to con like continue the momentum. That's allow you to, to benefit from that first buff, second buff, and then carry on to your third EX skill. So it's definitely good, you know, if you guys do want to go over that option, but um but me personally, I don't really care too much about the buff timers right here. So for me personally, I would just kind of not really alterate this one over here. But uh, due to the insane amount of stat, I will have to say yes, you know. But this is definitely leaning toward maybe maybe option. But the, the one you definitely want to be alterating is definitely going to be the arm. Probably that one, right? Maybe the beam rifle. If you guys do want a a beefier one that has some good portrait, you know, better stats, for example. But the word type. The word tag is actually good, never mind. Yeah, the word tag is actually good. So me, I'm just gonna recommend the arm. Definitely a first choice. And then maybe the beam rifle if you guys did choose. And then maybe the shield and then a backpack or more of like a secondary option if you guys do have them and you feel like you can replace, you know, uh, whatever existing one you guys are looking at. Definitely a good option for that main slot. 
And definitely, if you guys are, are you going to be using a backpack for, let's say, your main slot, please, 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 make sure to put a good portrait in that subslot option, so you, sub -slot option, so you guys can, um, you know, get some good trade to boost whatever power you need, you need to be doing. So those are going to be my recommendation, uh, my recommendation right off the bat. Do keep that in mind that uh, in terms of alteration right now, there is not going to be any time limit, but. Um, but you know, airbrush are gonna be something limited to only this week, and then you guys will definitely have to wait and do any reruns and all that. But yeah, with that being said, those are gonna be my recommendation. Do let me know like what are what are some parts you guys have pulled if you guys did pull at all on, on this server here. But uh, with that being said, that is gonna be pretty much it for this one specifically. I'll do another one. Uh, I don't want to make this video extremely long, which is, which I already has. So I'll come back around. Um, the next video is going to be talking about exclusively the Escalabius and then with that being said, I will catch you guys all on the next one.